champion, Smoking Joe Frazier. A tremendous hand for Joe. Tom, does he look a little tense to you more than the last fight? Louisville, About the Kentucky. same, I'd say, Van. At 212 pounds each. He's wearing white shorts also. Wearing white trunks, former world heavyweight champion also, Mr. Muhammad Ali. Give the instructions, Mr. Tony Perez. Let's pick this up. Of the New York State Health Commission, here are some of the most important ones. If you start knocked down, you must go to the farthest neutral corner and stay there until I tell you to come out. The mandatory eight count is on effect. Three knocked downs in any round will end the fight right there. Now 40 seconds. Angelo, Eddie, if the fighter is on the floor and the bell rings, the bell would not save anybody from being knocked out. The fighter must get up by himself. Please stay away from the ring. The only exception is the last round, which means the fight is over. Any questions? Uh, I'd like to know what you know about uh, wrestling, pushing. I'll enforce the rules. Okay. I'll enforce the rules. I want you to be sure of the hip punches he throws and the low blows. I enforce the rules. Okay. They were the respective managers talking. First, Eddie Fudge for Frazier, then Angelo Dundee for Ali. We're waiting for the bell for round one, and there it is, and here's Don Dumpy. Thank you, Van Patrick. Smoke and Joe pouring in. He will try not to let Ali have too much of the ring. He'll try to cut him off. Both boys a little bit tense. Frazier's coming in wide open. Wide open. Perez gets him apart. Less than a minute to go. Frazier taking a lot of headshots. Oh, what? 
the end of the round and goes back to his corner. There's the corner of Joe Frazier. In with him, facing head on, his manager, Eddie Futch. On the left-hand side, Milt Bailey. On the other man, Dr. John Thompson. Now, Joe Frazier took an awful lot of headshots in that round, and we wonder how that's going to affect him later on. He rarely hit Ali, who had a tremendous round. He got in a few body shots, but not enough to prove valuable. The first round unquestionably went to Muhammad Ali. You notice Eddie Futch is talking to uh, Joe Frazier. Now they're going over to Ali's uh, corner. And Don, he's fighting, it seems to me, a different type of fight than the first fight uh, with uh, Joe Frazier. Well, he's, he's more like the old Ali, uh, moving around in the corner. Drew Brown, Walter Youngblood, and of course his uh, manager, Angelo Dundee. We he's coming up to round two. Loaded with confidence, too, isn't he? Oh, yes. That's the old Muhammad Ali before the previous Frazier fight. Frazier is smiling. Good left hook by Frazier. I doubt if there'll be any clowning in the corner by Muhammad Ali tonight as there was the last time. Now, Ali is starting to miss. And Joe is countering him. Frazier smiling. Talks to Ali. is if Frazier can hold up under this punishment and Ali slows down. Frazier always a slow starter. I never remember him winning the first round of a, an important foul. But he won plenty of others. Oh, he got in there. Ali came right back. couldn't figure what happened and Ali had Frazier in trouble. He had him in trouble right above us here and uh, the referee Tony Perez thought the bell had claimed. Tony the fighters to their corner. Well Tony pulled a gap there. He thought the bell had rung and the commissioner Joe Siaka is going over. Here's a replay. Let's have a look at it again and there is a tremendous left hook which is the best uh, blow of the fight landed by Joe Frazier but then Ali came right back. And he had Frazier in trouble when the referee moved in and sent the fighters to their corner. We're looking at uh, Muhammad Ali right now. He's still bristling with confidence, and he looks like the Ali of old. But the one thing that Frazier will have to do if he can withstand this punishment is slow Ali down somehow. We're coming up to round three. There's the buzzer. And Ali goes into his shuffle. Here's Frazier, and here's Don. There's the bell. Frazier forcing the action. 
Alley setting himself to try for a knockout. They're putting everything into this. Alley is going to try for a knockout here. He thought he had Joe in trouble. Some hard body shots. That's what he wants to do. There's the bell ending round three. Frazier came back, as you pointed out, Don. He's a slow starter, but he came back in that round, and Muhammad Ali was a little more cautious. And Frazier continued to land those body blows, and he got that good left hook. I noticed, too, that Joe is using his right hand more in this fight than the one three years ago here in the garden when he won the decision from Muhammad Ali. And Ali is fighting a little bit of a different fight himself. And Ali is using his right hand very well, and there was question about it being hurt. Apparently it's not. Both of the physical examinations showed these fighters to be in top-notch condition, but you begin to wonder again how long they can keep up this tremendous pace. Somebody's got to tire soon. It's a great fight up to now. We're coming up to round four. It is scheduled for 12. And plenty of excitement at old Madison Square Garden. I must point out that most of the clinches are made by Muhammad Ali. It is he who breaks off the action. Wait for that trumpet cop. Go back dancing. Keep dancing. Keep dancing. Don't get anxious. Back, back in turn. Don't Ali doing the holding. Don't start no talking. It is scheduled for 12 rounds. This is round four, a minute gone in round four. 12 round bout, so it 
if Ali's got the spring in his legs, he might keep dancing all night. Perez gets them apart. <laughs> Ali seems in much better shape than he was three years ago. Much better. He's got the old bounce in his legs. Aggressiveness counts in New York State, and Frazier is the aggressor, even though Ali may be scoring the more punches. 30 seconds left in this round. Frazier's still smiling. I think two prominent items have been borne out here. The fact that Ali's hand is all right. There was some concern about Joe Frazier's head. The last fight three years ago that he sustained, but he seemingly is all right. As you mentioned, he was smiling a moment ago and a little earlier. He was talking to Muhammad Ali. There's no question they don't like each other. But I think Frazier's gaining confidence now, and he's coming on strong after the first two rounds. Rough sailing for him. There's a thought that maybe Frazier sat down a, a little hard that time then, but I think it was because his corner took so long to get the stool in the ring. Somebody uh, goofed over there. That stool should be in there almost at the bell. There's the buzzer again, both fighters to their feet, and we're ready to go now with round five. <laughs> Muhammad Ali, round five. It's a 12 round bout. Once again, Ali takes the lead early in the round. <laughs> Ali, Ali has been dropping his gloves a little bit, and that's dangerous, because Joe Frazier has the fastest left hook in the business. couldn't get set there even though he had Ali on the ropes. Hey, Fox, Pat, Fox. Frazier getting a little puffy around the right eye.
A minute to go in this round. Stick him where you dust. Solid shot by Ali. Wild by Frazier. a minute to go in the round. Frazier saw the opening, but he couldn't follow through. In the bell ending round five. Ali seems to be tiring a little bit. Uh, Joe Frazier has been the aggressor under the New York rules and scoring aggression means a lot. Pride is perhaps the greatest single factor in this fight. And they're talking over there to Joe Frazier. They're applying an ice pack uh, on, the, uh, on his forehead. I don't see any particular swelling on the forehead. They're putting it below the right eye which I said was a, a, looking a little puffy. And Joe spits a little blood. He seems to be gaining confidence, though, with each round, and Mohammed, as we mentioned, is slowing down a little bit, and you've got to give a tremendous amount of credit uh, to Frazier after his rocky two rounds at the beginning that he has come back and come back strong. And I think now Ali has a lot more respect. And there's the buzzer. And here we go with round six. Coming up to the halfway mark of this 12-round bout between these two great ex-champions. Some of those punches were blocked. Partially. Jab. Ali's outscoring Frazier about four to one. Frazier hitting a little bit the harder. Dance. Round 
six. Ali using that left jab very effectively. Let's have a look now at the slow-mo of that one-two combination, the left and the right, as thrown by Muhammad Ali. He's keeping Frazier off balance. The Frazier keeps going. There's the left, and here's the right that comes in. And both of them land beautifully as he utilized the one-two combination. But Frazier just doesn't slow down or back up. He just keeps boring in with every round. Yes, but Van, I think he's pretty well falling behind in, in rounds won and lost. If Frazier is going to make a move, unless he knocks out Ali, he's got to make that move starting now. He can't afford to give any more rounds away. Eddie Futch over there, who took uh, the place of the late uh, Yancey Durham, he's not one of the more publicized uh, trainers. But he does a magnificent job and has great respect and has done a great job with Frazier. Round seven, it is scheduled for 12. By far the best round for Joe Frazier, who landed two good, solid left hooks. We're going to have a look. Frazier went back to the corner smiling. All right, let's have a look now at Joe Frazier. That's a left hook. He comes in with a right hand, and you'll see another great left by Frazier. His best round of the fight. And he went back to his corner just bristling with confidence. Now let's watch it again as he tries to set him up for that left hook, which is Frazier's best punch, and there it is. That landed solidly right on the right side of the jaw of Mohammed Ali. A good round for Joe Frazier. <laughs> Frazier to his feet, but Dr. Thompson there, giving him his mouthpiece, the buzzer, and here's Don. Coming up to round eight, Joe Frazier turned the fight around a little bit in the last round. 
That's a 12 round bout. Alley opening fast again. Oh! Good thing for Alley that that missed. Any question as Van said that Ali is respecting Frazier a lot more now. to pry him apart. They don't want to go back to their corners. Here's Muhammad Ali going back to his corner. And there's no question that uh, Frazier stung him with that good right hand. And those two hard left hands in the previous round. There's the right hand that caught Ali and that rocked him right back on his heels. And he seemed a little arm weary. He might have punched himself out quite a bit. He has slowed down as we got set for round nine, but that blow that landed just before the bell took its toll on Muhammad Ali and Angelo Dundee is working feverishly over Muhammad and talking to him. He doesn't seem to be in any deep trouble. He just seems to be doing tired at this time. I, I thought it's on in the last round. Look at Frazier. He's really excited now. He can feel that he has a real shot. start in that round. Frazier is so confident at this point. Round nine of a 12 rounder.
Valley is putt shotting it. from the nostrils. I'm not sure it's the left or the right side. Could be both. Less than a minute to go in the round. Tony Perez has to get between him. Let's go back to Ali's corner. And Drew Brown over there congratulating him on the round. He did come back. I don't believe he has the steam in his punches that he had earlier. He was a little arm weary, but he did come back in that round. But you can't take anything away from Frazier as we get set to go into round 10. He keeps boring in. He did land that left hand again. Ali apparently asked Angelo Dundee about the round coming up, Don, and he uh, took a look himself to be sure that the scoreboard says round 10. But it's going to be a tough one to judge right now because Frazier came on in those middle rounds. And I want to tell you, the last three rounds of this fight are going to have a lot to do with the decision if it goes that far. Don. That's right, Then We have the 10th, 11th, and 12th. Round 10. Frazier is not grinning now, and he may have hurt Ali again. Frazier getting puffy around the eyes, below them, and there's a welt below his right eye. This bout, I must say, has been fought at an amazing pace for heavyweights, unquestionably faster than the last one. There's a, a spot or two of blood on the right front of Muhammad Ali, his blood, from his nose. a grazing left. <laughs> Ali short with those jabs. is the right to the body and followed by the left to the head. A minute to go on the round.
Round almost over. Right at the bell. Frazier landed that left hand again. Now uh, Muhammad Ali is bleeding from the nose and Joe Frazier is bleeding from the mouth. And they're applying the ice pack on the head of Joe Frazier. Very warm here in Madison Square Garden. As we mentioned earlier, it was some 55 degrees outside and we had a rain as we came into the garden tonight. We're coming up to round 11 and these are important rounds. Angelo Dundee uh, working on Muhammad Ali. No knockdowns, as you know, no knockdowns yet. I think they're both aware, Don, that these two rounds right now could tell the story in this fight. There's the bell, round 11 of a 12 rounder. the first time in any round that Frazier got in the first good punch. It and uh, it's just been amazing to me that two heavyweights can punch it out the way they have for 11 rounds. They are superbly conditioned. And with round 12 coming up, Don, uh, a lot depends right here. We're looking at Joe Frazier. Joe seems to be in good condition. He's not hurt. Muhammad Ali doesn't appear to be hurt. And they can just uh, pull out all the stops right here as we come up to this final round. And the judges are going to have a tough time in this one. Tony Castellani and 
Jack Gordon, and of course the referee, Tony Perez. Here's the 10 second buzzer. And we're getting ready to go now into the final round at Madison Square Garden. Frazier's already out there. Uh, now they shake hands, and here is Don. all over and judges Tonis Castellani Jack Gordon and referee Tony Perez have their work cut out for them the New York police surrounding the ring You're looking at Joe Frazier both these athletes in superb condition and they look like they could go another five or six rounds easily the great fight reminiscent of the first fight and Don is getting into the ring, and we'll be getting the announcement on the winner. And as Don mentioned a moment ago, of course, there can be a draw in this fight. So we'll just have to wait. Millions all over the world who are looking in, and we hope you've enjoyed the fight as much as we have. Trying to keep the people back out of the ring, and they're climbing practically all over us here at ringside at Madison Square Garden. Don is into the ring. A sellout crowd of more than 21,000 here at Madison Square Garden. Breaking records. And a good fight between a Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier. And you can hear the chant in the background. Ali and his followers will believe that he has won this fight. 
And any question about his hand or his legs were dispelled in this fight tonight. At 32 years of age, a remarkable, superbly conditioned athlete. And Joe Frazier, who is two years his junior at 30, and the former heavyweight champion of the world, came back himself after the first two rounds were very rough for him. But he came back and took everything that Ali had to offer. It was very much in this fight. They're climbing all over the ring here at Madison Square Garden and trying to get into the ring. Totaling up now the points. You can almost feel the electricity while we await. Watch the wires here. They're almost kicking the wires over. The ring, they have just about as many uh, on the ring apron. Well, there went the plugs. There went the plugs, man. So I hope that the wiring is still with us because they were climbing all over here trying to get in the ring. We're looking now at Muhammad Ali, who has a little bit of a concerned expression on his face, as you can see. There's Blue Brown walking around. And the police trying to keep the ring clear as possible. And that's not a very easy job. We'll try to get a look at uh, Frazier. There's the brother of Muhammad Ali. see the blood there on the face of Muhammad Ali who took some real shots in the fight there's no question we're still waiting for the decision and that of course the delay will give you the idea that it's got to be a closely scored fight it's just possible we could have a third Muhammad Ali Joe Frazier fight Everybody in the garden is standing. Now let's see if we can get uh, Joe Bostic. We're waiting for the decision. We're still waiting. decision until the ring is clear. And they have announced they will not render the decision until the ring has been cleared. And Joe Bostic, you can spot him in the middle of everybody and the New York's finest trying to clear the ring. Please clear the ring for the benefit of the fans, the spectators who have paid their way in. I just hope they don't uh, rip the equipment out here. Even the writers are on their feet here, and they're from all over the world covering this fight here in New York's Madison Square Garden. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a decision. May I have your attention? Please. Here is your decision. There's a decision. The winner by unanimous decision is Muhammad Ali. There it is, the winner by unanimous decision, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. He landed the most punches. Muhammad Ali. He's trying to get to Muhammad Ali. We decision. have a monitor up in the ring, and maybe we can uh, rerun some of I'm the I'm going to try to get this Muhammad ring Ali over here. Go ahead, He's the winner. He reverses the defeat of three years ago. Let me throw here, please. Let me throw here. Let me throw up. 
see Ali is trying to get to Dumpy. Muhammad, I want to congratulate you. Don't do anything, Muhammad. Muhammad, will you turn to our camera over here, please? I want to ask you about the fight. First, I want to congratulate you. That face I didn't recognize. <laughs> Don got near him, and I think they just uh, sort of pushed him away there. This is the one thing they said would not happen, that they would uh, have this ring blocked off. I... Uh, We don't have that as we uh, wait here as Don tries to get to uh, Muhammad Ali. We're just waiting to see if we can uh, contact Don again up there. Super Fight 2 was a presentation of Top Rank Incorporated. <laughs>